This is a demonstration of a multi-platform mobile application to manage the OpenShift platform called OpenShift Mobile. We will utilize the Android emulator to demonstrate its functionality. Let's go ahead and launch the application. We are first presented with a login screen which allows us to enter our username and password for OpenShift. Let's go ahead and do that now. We can then choose to log into either OpenShift Online or OpenShift Enterprise. Our user is part of OpenShift Online, so we will keep that selected and then go ahead and select Login. We are then presented with a list of domains associated to this user. Let's go ahead and click on OpenShift Android. Next, we see all of the applications that are associated within this domain. Let's click on the JBoss EAP application. We can then see all of the basic information regarding this application, its embedded cartridges including their current status, and any aliases that may be associated with this application. Let's go back to the application's homepage, and let's go create a new application by clicking on the plus arrow. Let's call it PHP Demo. And then let's select the type of application we want to choose, and we'll choose PHP 5.3 and click Create. At this time, our application is currently being created on the OpenShift platform. This does take a few moments to complete. OpenShift Mobile utilizes the OpenShift REST API to facilitate communication. As this API continues to evolve, further improvements can be made to the OpenShift Mobile program. Our application has now been successfully created on OpenShift and it can be verified by seeing the application appear in our list of applications. By hitting the arrow to the right of each application, we are presented with a list of actions that can be performed on each application. We can start, stop, restart, or delete an application. In addition, we can also go ahead and view our application in a web browser. Here is our application in a web browser with its default content present. Let's go back and we are then presented with our list of applications once again. Let's say we wanted to add some database support to our application. Let's go click on PHP Demo, click on Cartridges, and then let's go click the Add button since we wanted to add an embedded cartridge. Well, let's go ahead and select MySQL as our database backend and click Create. Our database has been added to our application successfully. And as you can see, it is now added to our list of cartridges and you can see the status is now up. Finally, let's go ahead and add an alias for our application. Let's go ahead and call it php.example.com and then click create. And now our alias has been created successfully. This has been a demonstration of the OpenShift Mobile application. Thank you.